Hello traders and welcome to the Forex Bot live trade examples. Today we will be analyzing and trying to set up a trade for the GBP NSD currency pair. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can do it right away to follow all trade examples that we will be publishing every single week. Let's get started. Today we will be looking at multiple time frames just to understand what is happening on this pair and what is the best trade setup we can get here. And uh, to get started, probably as usual, I will be using trend lines, simple trend lines to see what is going on. So I'm going to apply this trend line. This is a downtrend trend line. And if I zoom it, we can see that there was a spike produced and then uh, another day failed to close above the spike. All in all, this is um, resistance is holding so the trend line hasn't been broken and we can see that the 200 exponential moving average was rejected as well in fact 50 exponential moving average right there was rejected as well because uh, this was initial high then price produced spike but didn't close above now we need to have a close above the spike but no we had another spike and another spike so this was an extremely tricky market here i think even this resistance did hold so right now we're trading again at the trend line after price broke below the 50 exponential moving average also let's mark the key support resistance level basically supply demand zone and if i just place the line right there we can see there were multiple bounces resistance support and if i just zoom it out this is an extremely important price area with multiple bounces and price almost tested this level. Since we have this channel and there was no breakout, we can see that kind of price stuck between this resistance and support. So let's get onto the FIPS here to see if our FIPS correspond to the target. So here we have two FIPS now, guys, as you can see that 78.6 corresponds to 161.8 so this could be this might be this target for this potential downside move now this high is of course uh, placed a key role and we need definitely to hold this high in order for the price to go down so this would be reasonable to use it as a stop loss for this uh, trade setup perhaps this will give us a good risk to reward ratio and let's have a look so short at this, if we short at this stage, at this price and stop loss just above here, target we have at uh, 192.90 approximately. So we have the risk to reward ratio 3.45, which is extremely good, meaning that we are risking one part in order to get 3.45 parts. In other words, if we are risking hundred dollars we're looking to profit three hundred forty five dollars and this is pretty good good setup for this trade this is the four hour chart so i think it might take quite some time perhaps a week or two so this could be something like that or it could be also a very fast downtrend so maybe something like that we will need to see uh, what will be the price action but considering this long-term consolidation all in all while the price has been rising more more or less it has been on the same spot so right now also we can use um, elliott wave theory for example this could be an abc correction so a b and c this could be something like that I think uh, it would be reasonable to assume that uh, we might be seeing a very, very similar scenario. But of course, we need to hold this resistance. Now, let's just apply another FIPS to see if there was any kind of rejection right there. But in order to apply FIPS, I would like to get back to the daily chart and uh, just I will explain you now why. So this was our resistance, the key resistance, which hasn't been broken. And this corrective move is actually what we're looking at. We need to apply FIPS to this move and then go back to the four hour time frame. So what we can see is a rejection of the 78.6 FIPS at this spot. And this is pretty good price action uh, in terms of the selling opportunity price spiked above but failed to close so this remains a very important level we have the rejection of the moving average we have the rejection of the trend line we had the rejection 
of the Fibonacci retracement level and we had the rejection of the middle trend line of the ascending channel. And all in all, this could be something that we might be seeing in the coming days. But right now, let's just apply the trade setup that we're having. So this is our entry. The stop loss is just above this level and the take profit we're having at this level. So this is our setup for selling the pound versus New Zealand dollar. And there are two setups, either it will go fast or slow. We will see the consolidation could take place, price could be struggling to go immediately. But right now, what I do like is this clean rejection of the 200 exponential moving average price spiked above. But and I don't think there will be any move uh, higher this level, although to protect ourselves, we need to have the stop loss above this resistance. So all in all, this is the setup. Uh, perhaps it will take a week, maybe less, is to be seen. And we will get back once there is some price action. So we're back to the pound versus the New Zealand dollar. What we did expect is that the price will be moving towards the support, but it might take a week or more. But here we can see that it took only four trading days. So while we started on the 4th of November, on the 9th of November, it's already tested the support. So if we remove the weekends, that would make it about four trading days. And as you can see, this was pretty good move. And another important thing is that our entry was perfect, simply perfect, because since we entered the short position, it never went against us, even few pips, it continuously started to move down. Now, also, if we look at the trade, the risk reward ratio is free. So that was excellent, considering that it took only four days and the total move was nearly 250 pips to be precise, 248.9 pips with the risk of only 82 pips. So excellent trade quickly in quickly out. So that how it works. You go with the trend. This is what you get most of the time because we can see that price started to produce lower lows and lower highs. We didn't break above this high and we broke above the previously made low. So clearly was a short term downside move, short term downtrend. And we actually tested the support quite fast. And as you can see, price even went lower towards the second FIPS, which is 261.8 and could have been even better risk to reward ratio. So that's it for this trade setup. I hope you enjoyed it. And I would like to remind you that we're sharing these trades from our trade examples in our premium Telegram signals group, which you can join as well. And the link for it down in the description of this video. And if you still haven't subscribed to this channel, you can do it right away because we will be posting more and more of these examples as well as technical analysis and educational videos. If you did like this trade setup, smash the like button. I will see you all very soon with a new trade example.